बेसिक्स ऑफ ज्योमेट्री इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ प्लेन एंड पॉइंट लाइन लाइन सेगमेंट रे एंगल एंड इट्स पार्ट्स हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न नाउ आर एक्चुअली द बेसिक्स ऑफ ज्योमेट्री एंड हेंस द लेसन्स नेम इज बेसिक्स ऑफ ज्योमेट्री Understanding these basic concepts will help you to understand other areas of geometry. Plane and point. Plane. This is our desktop. This is our blackboard. This is our notebook. All these are the parts of the plane. Parts? Yes, parts. Plane is a flat surface like these examples but it goes on endlessly in all directions. Point. This is point. We said it as point but actually point is so small that it cannot be seen at all. Even a tip of a needle is too big. Anyway, point is represented by capital alphabets like A line line is a collection of points forming endless straight path line segment is part of a line it has two end points this rectangle has a side of 8 cm a and b are the end points of this side we called it as segment ab Ray Have you seen the light beam of torch It start from torch and goes endlessly Ray is similar to this light beam Ray is a part of a line and goes on endlessly in one direction This is symbol of ray Ray PQ is written as angle wow birthday cake hmm it's so delicious did you see the cake is cut with a common point into two directions when two rays have a common end point they form the angle some examples where angle forms two pages of our book the wall and the floor of our room the two sides of v parts of an angle this is an example of an angle ba and bc are two rays b is a common point of these two rays we called it vertex ray ba and ray bc are called the arms of the angle this is an angle formed by two arms ab and bc we read this angle as angle abc or angle cba and write as the symbol for angle is the middle letter is always the vertex of the angle plane is a flat surface point is so small that it cannot be seen at all even a tip of a needle is too big line is a collection of points forming endless straight path ray is a part of a line and goes on endlessly in one direction when two rays have a common end point they form the angle so that is all in this topic learning is fun Isn't it?